Okay guys, so today we are talking about a new restriction. Now, but before I continue, is that what everything I want to say here is not a financial advice. So please, let's start on that. And this is a common saying in crypto. So don't take me for it. I'll cut that part out. Don't worry, just do it. Hello guys, you're welcome to my channel today. Um, we have an exchange to discuss. It's called the liquor exchange but before we continue i want to say everything here is not a financial advice so please do your due diligence before you invest in anything or take any decisions and that has to do with your money so what is liquor exchange but before you can actually understand liquor exchange the different offers they have i know that we have to consider some of the problems in their space some of the problems that have been highlighted is the issue of high commission fees whether it's on trading whether it's on withdrawal, whether it's on listing, and a host of other services that actually you call in a crypto exchange, there is high listing fees. And then another issue again that has to do with this uh, platform is the issue of insecurity. So we are no strangers to hacks. We have the empty ghost hack. And those of you who have been in crypto should have heard of this name by now. Well, we have, you have been in that since the time of the empty ghost hack. And then, uh, not only that, we have the issues that has to do with uh, liquidity. So, let's take for example now, you want to buy a coin. If this is a coin, you want to buy it, and you go to platform A, probably the volume is very, very, very low. And then there is another exchange, it does high volume. So these are the problems that has to do with uh, crypto. So there is a liquidity problem, liquidity problem, there's a security problem, there's a high commission problems and uh, a host of other problems. So what is the solutions that this exchange is actually bringing to the table? One of the solutions is how do we involve the community? We are going to make profits when we start um, from our different revenue models, how do we actually uh, develop the community? So, what this platform does is that all the stuff, trading fees, the listing fees, withdrawal fees, and everything that occurs on the platform, 50% of it is paid back as dividends to the users. So, once you have the token, you can be a rest assured that once a month, 50% of those things are coming, depending on how much tokens you actually have. Then on that again is community trading. So what do we mean by community trading? We actually mean community trading is that just like uh, social media where you can actually follow somebody and see what they are doing, they can do what they are doing. It's the same thing with the community trading. So they actually partner with one of the platforms to help with that. And then we'll be doing things like ICO services. You can list your coin and on that platform and all that. So, what will be their spending money? They are planning to raise money. What will they spend the money on? They will spend the money on growth. So they'll be spending money to grow. Not only to grow. Anything that has to do with marketing for growing, they will do that. Developing the exchange, anything that has to do with servers, this, 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 and all that, they will spend money. Anything that has to do with compliance, they will spend money on that. And then other expenses like traveling for seminars, taking crypto investors and all that. So what will be the revenue model of this platform? The revenue model of this platform, they will make money from trading fees, uh, they will make money from withdrawal fees, uh, listing fees, so maybe some from time to time coins will be listed, and then uh, notes that community coins will be listed for free, and then we'll have other services like uh, legal advices, ICOs and all that. So, please do your due diligence on this platform. So with that, I want to say a very big thank you for watching. Bye.